part of character code I want to talk about is something that we usually refer to as Unicode. Um, it, if you were looking at websites or at documentation for um, character codes that would be used, you would see UTF. Um, UTF originally was two bits and then it was eight bits. The most common configurations now are UTF-16 and UTF-32. Um, so this allows 16 bits or 32 bits. If you were doing 16 bits, that's 65,536 different characters possible. That's a huge number of characters. I haven't worked out what it is to the 32, but you can raise 2 to the power of 32 and you'd find out what that is. Okay, so with 65,536 characters, that's a lot of characters. And it's part of the big challenge of using Unicode is organizing the information and keeping track of the characters. So what I want to do here is go out to the unicode.org website. There's actually an organization that is ch charged with keeping track of all the characters and organizing it and um, helping developers um, create new Unicode values for symbols that they're using and so on. So what I want to do here is I'm going to click on the code charts. And what you'll see here is a list of different languages and the charts. All of these languages and if you scroll down farther you have symbols like for um, somewhere in here there's chess, um, yeah, music, ancient Greek musical notation, oh here's chess and checkers, dominoes, different kinds of arrows and so on. So let me just show you what this would look like. Let's say that we want to look at, oh gosh, I don't know, I have no idea what could that language, well let me do one I might be able to pronounce, Kannada, looks like. So I will click on this language and here are the symbols that can be represented, the characters that can be represented using Unicode um, for this, the Kannada language. Um, notice that we have here values across the top and the bottom, or down the left. These are representing hexadecimal codes for the um, actual character codes. All right. So you, to find out which one you would use, like let's say I decided I wanted to use this symbol, well I would get the OCB and then from here I would come across to the 2. So that would be OCB2 for that particular symbol. Okay. Um, if you were to look, uh, let me see if I can find English here. Armenian, African, South American, East Asian, yeah, no, no, no. Hmm. Well, oh, here we go. Well, <laughs> here we go to Cherokee. That's not what I meant exactly when I was talking about um, English, right? I was thinking American. But the first one, the, the first 200. Um, 55 symbols, 256 symbols, are exactly the same as what they were for extended ASCII. The first 128 are exactly what they had been for regular ASCII. All right, so it's just all of these other symbols that have been added to help out with uh, representing all different kinds of symbols. So if we look at ancient Greek musical notation, there you can represent those using these hexadecimal codes. Um, if you were to, here, emoticons, there we go. <laughs> you can use um, hexadecimal symbols to represent emoticons. Now, I must say that not every processor is set up to handle these codes, right? So for example, if I were um, wanting to use, um, well, let's look at Old Turkic. Right, so those are symbols for Old Turkic. It very well may be that my computer doesn't have the the software to translate these symbols. I would have to, it's sort of like getting a plug-in, right, where you'd have to get some kind of software that's able to interpret these and to be able to draw them to the screen. Um, you can get a lot of these in Word, you know, if you go into Word and go into change a different font, like if you go to Wingdings or, you know, something like that, you'll see a bunch of different symbols that are not what we're used to using in any kind of European language. Okay, so Unicode does not have every number used yet. There are a whole bunch of numbers that haven't been used. And if any of you are interested in developing your own Unicode character, you can do that by going into the um, proposed changes. And there, there are um, documents here over on the left where you can find out how you could 
have your very own character in Unicode. It has to be approved by an organization. It has to be you have to be able to validate its use in some way, right? And it's not fast. I've I had a friend who did this, and it's he said it took three years <laughs> to actually get his character approved, but it can be done. Okay, so that's Unicode, and that's we don't need anything more than Unicode right now. Uh, it has so many characters we haven't even been able to use them all up. Um, if we come to a point where we need more, probably Unicode would be extended up to 64 bits instead of just 32. Okay, but th that's a long way off. So this is the future. You guys can make your mark <laughs> on Unicode.